So I was hanging out in the office a few days ago, and Gramps came over to me, and he was talking nostalgia, talking uh, Lindy Riggs, worm blowers, et cetera. And I said, you know what? You should bring in some of your stuff, and maybe we should talk about it here on the set. And he came in this morning with a whole load of different uh, terminal tackle and old falling apart magazines and whatnot. Um, and I, so I guess he's ready to talk about what do you, what do we got here? Well, first of all, I tried to get an original Lindy rig, which would have been over 50 years old. I could not find any uh, in its original packaging. All I could find out were some components that were laying around. This is a cute little thing. Uh, 50 years ago, you'll see in the catalog here, where is that? Uh, there's a picture of a Lindy worm blower. What, you, what year did you make the, the Lindy worm, worm blower? Uh, probably 1968 or 9, I'm not sure. It's, it's in a corner here someplace. Okay. It's right there. Today, I went to the local bait shop, and they have one by Berkeley. <laughs> uh, there's other people that make them as well. Uh, Magic Bait made one over the years. Over the past 50 years, a lot of people have copied what it is. As far as I understand it, I talked to Ron Kiffmeyer, who was a sales emeritus at Lindy Tackle, and he says he judges that they would have sold somewhere over the years of probably about three million of these pieces. Why a worm blower? Well, if you just fish with a Lindy rig, the sinker's down here. The line's up here. And the night crawler, if opened and just put on the end of a Lindy rig, we've got a little pan here, you put in there, and what happens? What happens, it's, Nikki? It sinks right down to the bottom. Right. Now, we take a worm blower and give it just a little touch of air here. It's, it's a floater. It's a floater, a semi-floater. Yeah, the half that you the blew half off float. is floating. Now, if you do the whole thing, you can make the entire worm float on the edge of a snell. Sure. How, how long is the effect? Forever. Okay, unless a, a walleye comes and bites it and, and, and sticks full of holes. But that's okay. That was the whole <laughs> idea behind a worm blower. We had people call us from newspapers because they, got a, they, had a, they couldn't understand why a worm blower, why they, they could not understand why in the world would anybody make an item like this and take it to market. Like I told you, over the years, as far as I understand it, from the various companies that have Lindy and the companies that uh, made uh, their own version, probably three to four million are, are out there. And you guys invented the very first one. I put that, there's a picture, that's my hand, <laughs> and uh, that's the one. All right, now it also looks like you have some different terminal tackle, maybe some Lindy rig components. I've got some components here. By the way, I really tried hard, Nikki, to find an original package uh, with the one snell and the one sinker. I couldn't find any. I called people way back and trying to find one. I could find no one. I couldn't find an original version any place. I called my brother Al. I called my old partner Nick, his, his, uh, who's passed away, but I asked his uh, wife if she had any. I called people, could not find a one. So we don't know. Mm. What we've got here is what I could best explain to you, the components which, by the way, like the worm blower, were made by other companies. Today, you get Lindy rigs have become what? What would you call them? Uh, a generic uh, uh, live bait rig. Yeah, uh, they come, what they call it? It's called a live bait rig. It's made by VMC, Northland, quite a few other companies. I don't even know all of them, but I do know that they are making them. Uh, what a lot of people don't know. You'll notice that the two different kinds of sinkers, this is a Northland sinker here, and this is the original Lindy sinker. Okay. Uh, VMC has a type much like this. The original hook on the original Lindy rig was that small. You had a three-inch leader, 
a, a three foot leader yeah. and a small hook. The line was pink and the, and the hook was pink like this. Why pink? Of all the testing we did, and we did a lot, a lot of testing. Remember, we were guiding full time at uh, well, in these years, and we had a stable of guides that would work with us. They were all using the Lindy rig, uh, catch walleye, and we would ask questions. We would try. We would make ones that were green, and with a green hook and a blue hook, and a da 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 da, up and back, up and back, and we found out pink. Later, they started putting these on the snells. That was not on the original. Okay. They, they, that was not on the original. Also, the original that hardly comes into use anymore is what's called a swivel clip. You would take the pre-tied snell and you would simply take the loop of the snell, grab it, slip it on, and bingo, it was there. And uh, today, a lot of them tie to tie, depending on the company that's making lead. I say it's become a commodity. A Lindy rig is a, it's a, a live bait rig, it's called a commodity. So sure. they all. It's one of the pillars of walleye fishing. That's correct. Well, they got, you, you've got bottom bouncers, you've got Lindy rigs, you've got the, the jig and, and minnow, et cetera. These right. are, are pillars. Any walleye fisherman that goes out there has some version of this with them. Absolutely.